Hey, what's going on guys? Dylan DeJesus here, and today I wanted to walk you guys through a top 10 ranking of some of my favorite custom shoes that I've ever done. So this year, later in the fall, will mark 10 years since I first laid paint onto a pair of shoes, and I thought that this would make for a really cool challenge of trying to compile a list of my top 10 favorite shoes that I've done. If I had to throw a very loose estimate on the total of number of pairs that I've done in that time frame, I would probably guess that it's somewhere between three and 4,000 pairs, so this was by all means not a very easy list to put together. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this list. Number 10. Coming in at number 10, we have the Bel Air Jordan 3s. These are from all the way back in 2014. This was shortly after the Bel Air Jordan 5s had released and overall as a concept, I really dug those, but I thought the execution of them was just, it just fell a little bit short. And I think that they didn't make the Bel Air print stand out quite enough. They really only had it on the sock liner and behind the tongue. And so for kind of a perfect, Bel Air themed shoe, I think that that pattern needed to be incorporated into sort of the main design just a little bit more. So I thought translating it onto a pair of Jordan 3s would be the perfect silhouette to do it on. I still wanted the general concept behind these to be something that Jordan brand could have potentially released. So I didn't want to do the Bel Air print all over the upper. So we went ahead and did it just on the cement print portions. And I think that having those mainly gray uppers, it just really helps have a nice distribution of kind of simple elements versus really loud elements. So definitely something that you could potentially see released, I believe. Number nine. Coming in next, we have the Travis Scott cleats made for Quandre Diggs of the Seattle Seahawks. This is a pair that we did just this past NFL season, and I'm always going to love the challenge of trying to recreate or execute a theme and a silhouette onto a completely different shoe. So in this case, we took the Travis Scott Dunks and went ahead and did them on the Vapor Untouchable Speed Lows. And essentially when you're trying to make one shoe look like a completely different shoe, a lot of challenges are presented because they're completely different silhouettes. They have different contours, they have different shapes. So you really need to take the time and pay attention to detail to really try to pull something like this off. And certainly there's a lot of challenging elements when you really break down the shoe. We have a lot of things to incorporate like the paisley print, the bandana pattern, we have the plaid print and then trying to recreate the actual dunk silhouette. There's a lot of things that go into this. And of course, it's always an incredible feeling to see your work hit the field. Number eight. In the eighth spot, we have a pair of Bape Camel Vans made for Lil Mosey. This was part of a three pair pack that we sent over to him. And I actually think that as a whole, the Bape Camel Vans might be one of the most done up custom sneaker themes of the past five years or so. Before even doing this pair, we had done two separate tutorials because this is such a heavily requested theme. So when I knew I was gonna be doing these again, I still wanted to find a way to sort of give it a, a refresh take. So I thought that doing all of the variations of the different color camo prints would be a really cool way to still put a new spin on an older theme. I love the way that all the colors came together, all the detail packed into the shark teeth, all the detail placed into the tiny babe camo. This just makes for a totally memorable theme in my opinion. Number seven. Coming up next, we have the Paris Floral Abstraction Jordan 1s. These were based off the Nike SB Paris's released in 2003. Easily one of my favorite Nike SBs of all time and definitely a theme that I really wanted to try to translate on a Jordan 1 high, but still put my own spin on it. The Nike SB pair featured artwork from a French painter, Bernard Buffett, and I thought that it would be really cool to, rather than just take his artwork and try to recreate it on a pair of Jordan 1s, I thought that it would be really cool to simply take a lot of the color palette and his colorway that was used on the SBs and then try to do my own thing on top. So utilizing his very unique color palette, what I did was throw an abstract floral pattern on top. So if you take a closer look, there's a rose print donning the entire upper. And this is also where I got the idea to incorporate that rose pattern on our boxes if you've ever seen those in person. So this is something that I basically just experimented with when I remember I was kind of trying to find my own style as an artist and I thought that this would be kind of a really cool thing, throwing an abstract kind of floral pattern on top of a lot of different shoes and definitely a theme that I want to revisit very soon. Number six. Coming in the sixth spot, we have our Chucky Air Force Ones. Now this was a situation where I didn't want to do a theme where I go ahead and just throw a big Chucky cartoon on the side or try to paint a Chucky portrait. Sometimes when you're doing a, a superhero theme, a villain theme, anything like that, sometimes it's kind of cool to think, okay, if the character themselves were to wear a pair of shoes, 
what would they look like? So if Chucky was to wear a pair of Air Force Ones, as crazy as that sounds, what would they potentially look like? He might not have a pair where there's a big cartoon portrait of himself on the sign. So what are some elements from the character's wardrobe that I can then translate onto the shoes? And that's what we have here where some of the main elements that we incorporated are his striped sweater, his denim overalls, his red hair, and then his torn up, scarred up, stitched together face that we have donning a lot of the upper and then the swishes are done in a really cool knife blood splatter type look. With Chucky being a horror movie icon, we really wanted to do the character justice and I think we did just that by incorporating a lot of these really dark and grungy elements, really trying to give the shoe just an older worn out type look because that's a character that has been through quite a lot. Number five. Coming up next, we have our Dragon Sword LeBron 10s. Now it's been quite a few years since anybody's done LeBron customs on the regular, it seems. But back during the LeBron 9 and 10 era, this was one of the most common base shoes that you would see people doing custom themes on. Growing up in the 90s, I was beyond obsessed with the Power Rangers. The Green Ranger was definitely my favorite and seeing him use that dragon flute to call the Dragon Zord out of the water was a, just a monumental as a kid. It was always so cool to see. So again, just like the Chucky shoe, I wanted to take some elements from our main character, the Dragon Zord in this case, and try to translate those onto the shoes. This was the first time that I had you know, done anything where I tried to make the swoosh somewhat of not a swoosh anymore, rather it being the tail from the Dragon Zord, incorporating that big chest plate on the toe boxes. This will always be one of my favorite shoes because this was within my first year or two of customizing also. And Power Rangers will always be something that is gonna be incredibly nostalgic for me. I also still remember being very uncomfortable with an airbrush at this point in my customizing journey, but really nailing this type of theme on this silhouette totally depended upon me doing some really simple airbrush shading here. Number four. In the fourth spot, we have our Brooklyn City Edition Jordan 1s. Little did I know what was to come the first time I ever tried to recreate that classic Biggie Kooji style sweater onto a pair of Jordan 1s. The opportunities that would arise from a project like this are still mind blowing to me that I was able to connect with people within the Brooklyn Nets organization and they happen to like these shoes so much that they wanted me to come and sell a limited edition run of 200 pairs inside an NBA arena. It's mind blowing how far custom shoes have come. I started off working at my mom's kitchen table to then be able to sell shoes inside an NBA arena. It's just mind blowing. And this is a shoe that I'm definitely really proud of. Although the theme definitely takes a lot of inspiration from that classic Kooji style sweater, I still think that I was able to put my own spin on it. And I think that this model actually has some really unique color blocking. This isn't really a kind of color blocking type scheme that you've seen on a lot of Jordan 1. So I totally love this shoe and what this did for my career is, is monumental. Hey guys, before we dive into our top three, we wanted to take a moment to get you guys involved in this top 10 challenge. This was really fun for me to do, but it was also very hard, like I mentioned. So I want you guys to take on that same challenge of picking out your 10 favorite custom shoes that you've done. Make a nice little collage for your Instagram stories. Go ahead and tag us in it and use the hashtag DCF top 10, and we'll be sharing some of yours over the next few days on our Instagram. Look forward to seeing them. Number three. Taking the bronze medal from my all-time favorite custom shoes is our Japanese tattoo Jordan 5s. This is a pair that I had originally made for one of our art galleries, and I've often said here that tattoo style artwork is probably my favorite style artwork. It's one of the places that I can most easily draw inspiration from, and I had never done a Japanese style tattoo type shoe before. I don't think it's something that you see that often, but there's just some really beautiful elements that are very commonly incorporated within Japanese tattooing, like the koi fish, like all of the different masks. So I wanted to go ahead and try to do those on a pair of shoes, something that you don't see too often. And I think that if anybody ever asked, what's a shoe that's done in your preferred style or your favorite style to do? I think that this is the shoe that I would point to. There's so many cool elements within the shoe. We have a really colorful background. We have a lot of dark grungy elements, but then I also get to show off some really cool detail work trying to do a koi fish and a henna mask. I think that there's a lot of cool techniques that I get to show off on a pair like this. Things like color balance, showing off stencil work, doing really cool character design and having some really tight precision line work also worked in here. This is definitely a shoe that I'm very proud of. Number two. Runner up for my all time favorite custom shoes is going to be our Madagascar Sunset Moth Jordan 1s. 
Interestingly enough, this isn't even a design that I came up with by myself. This was actually done for our 100K subscriber celebration. We went ahead and opened up submissions to you guys to go ahead and submit your own designs and then we'll try to bring them to life. These were done by OCD Custom, taking inspiration from this beautiful butterfly and trying to somehow translate something as unique as that onto our pair of shoes was such a fun experience and somehow this theme, this shoe, it still has balance. I have no idea how with how bold and loud these colors are, but this design is just so incredible. This is easily probably the most eye-catching shoe on this list and it has so much rich texture built into it. It's something that you just wanna know more of and where did the inspiration for this even come from? And when you actually take a look at that butterfly, you go, that is something that I have absolutely never seen before. I've always loved the challenge of recreating animal prints onto various shoes. Heck, my favorite shoes of all time happen to be Jordan 3s, which are most well known for having elephant print. And trying to redo these prints on a shoe was quite the challenge, but there's so many cool prints and the gradients within this theme are absolutely crazy. Like I said, this is definitely one of the most eye-catching shoes that I've ever done in my opinion, and it comes in at number two. Also, once we hit 200K subscribers on YouTube, we'll definitely be doing another edition of recreating your designs. You guys will send in your submissions and we'll try to recreate them somehow. So really looking forward because the first time it ended up helping me create one of my favorite shoes of all time. But now let's go ahead and move on to number one. And in first place, my favorite shoe of all time, the shoe that if the aliens were to invade the earth and say, you need to show me a custom shoe that's going to impress us or we're going to blow up your entire planet, this is the shoe that I would show the aliens are Scotty Pippen Jordan 1s that we actually just finished recently, but this is far and away the most I've ever spent time-wise on a pair of shoes. This portrait took me well over 100 hours. We went ahead and posted a video talking about the experience. Go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. Being able to do portraits, especially at this level, is definitely something that I never really envisioned for myself, especially not having any formal training or an art background. But setting aside time and practicing painting portraits every day for an entire month last year was definitely one of the best things that I've ever done. I could have just as easily selected our Kobe Jordan ones for the number one spot, but I do think that I myself have even made some improvements within my portrait work over the past year. And of course, being a lifelong Bulls fan, incorporating all of those different jerseys from the 90s within this design, this is definitely my favorite pair that I've ever done and certainly the pair that I'm most proud of. So here's a final look at my top 10 favorite custom shoes of all time that I've done. Let me know what you guys think about them and I really look forward to seeing your guys' own personal rankings of your top 10 custom shoes that you've done. We'll be sure to share some of those on our Instagram. Be sure to go ahead and give this video a like if you guys haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed and everybody get out there and just create.